Mobilizations for the sacroiliac joint can be very effective for releasing stuck joints or of course breaking up the patterns of muscle contractions around the joint. Now most experts will agree in order to affect the sacroiliac joints we need a posterior motion of the ilium which is the pelvic bone on the sacrum. So this is not, doesn't work in all cases, but for our purposes, doing a self-mobilization, it works just fine. There are two versions of this. I'm gonna show you the self-mobilization, which uses your own muscles, and then there's a partner-assisted mobilization, which in my opinion works much better. Now, it's important to note that any of these self-mobilizations, even though they are quite effective, if they cause any discomfort and pain, omit them completely, don't use them. So this self-mobilization involves using your own muscles. So technically, the SI joint itself, the sacroiliac joints, don't have muscles that directly move the joint. But we do have a group of muscles that have a tendency to influence forces going through the joint. So we can indirectly affect the SI joint by doing this mobilization. So what you'll do is you'll lay on your back with your feet flat on the ground, approximately 12 inches from your rear end, but this can be variable depending on your comfort level and how much flexibility you have in these regions. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, since this is going to be the side we'll mobilize so you can see it, this leg is gonna go straight out to the ground. Now it's really important that you keep your body completely relaxed when you're doing this because we wanna just influence this side. The tendency is, is to turn everything on on both sides, which makes it very hard to get a mobilization effect. So very important, let this leg that's not working be completely dead weight. This is our mobilization side. We have the heel on the ground, okay? We have the knee coming up, and what I want you to imagine is you have a hook coming out of the end of your knee, and it's gonna be pulled toward the opposite uh, corner ceiling of the room. So, the mobilization force is the posterior rotation of the pelvis. That would be the motion where your back is moving down toward the floor. That causes the ilium to move backward on top of the sacrum. That assists the function of what we're trying to do. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to take that knee and while keeping that foot flat, poke that knee straight away like that hook was pulling across to the opposite corner. Now when we do that, if you notice here very closely, the glute is coming off of the ground, which is completely fine, and this ilium bone very gently and slightly rotates posterior in order to do that job. So as we poke that knee forward, we get posterior rotation. That causes the ilium to rotate backward on the sacrum, therefore influencing the sacroiliac joint. So we use our own muscles to do that. We hold that position for the allotted amount of time that's prescribed in your exercise program, and then allow it to just recoil right back down to the floor. Now, if we wanna increase the intensity, we can add a little bit more muscle to it. So we're gonna poke that knee forward, which causes that posterior pelvic tilt, Remember, making sure that that opposite leg is completely relaxed. Now we're gonna do is squeeze that butt muscle. That gives it a little bit of extra posterior tilt. That's one way to enhance it. Now one factor I should also mention is to make sure this knee just goes straight ahead. It doesn't go to the midline and it doesn't go outward. It just pokes straight ahead. And it's very minute. And then back down again. Now if we wanna add a third enhancement to this, we're gonna poke the knee forward we're gonna squeeze the butt muscle, which encourages that posterior tilt, and then we're gonna add a little bit of an upper body crunch. So when you engage the abdominals and the obliques, that assists a little bit more on that posterior pelvic tilt. Now you have to be aware, again, if there's any conditions that stop you from doing a crunch, if that causes back pain or anything else, then of course you omit that piece of the movement. So we go down, okay, let's do the whole thing again. We poke the knee forward, glute squeeze, and then we add a little bit of abs with it. So squeeze all of those functions, hold, and then back down again. Now we always complete all of the repetitions on one side before we switch to the other. The operation is exactly the same. So that includes the self-mobilization routine for the sacroiliac joint.